Thank you for choosing this important course on Android development. It is based on the new Android release, Android 6.0 Marshmallow, or Android M for short. We're pleased to welcome you and we know that you will gain a lot of helpful knowledge over the next six sessions that we will be together. You may be new to mobile programming or a seasoned professional, but whatever your current role, this course will teach you valuable skills that you will be able to use right away in the marketplace. I'll be your host and I'm looking forward to talking you through each session. You can do so at your own pace pausing, stopping, and rewinding whenever you need to. So let's get started. Even though no two apps are built the same way, there is a general order to app development. We structured and organized the course in this order to help you get up to speed quickly and efficiently. Here are the six sections we will be covering. Getting started with Android. This is our initial session where we are going to introduce Android and set up your system for app development. You will install Android Studio, the official development environment for Android development, which includes the Android SDK tools. Learn the fundamentals. With your system set up, you will next learn the fundamental building blocks or components in Android application development. We will cover the four types of app components, each one, application, activities, layouts, and intents, serves a distinct purpose and has a distinct life cycle that defines how the application is created. Android Application and Activities We will learn about the first components, Android Application and Activities, in detail. You will learn about the Java programming language, the Android SDK tools, and the contents of an APK file. Views, Layouts, Event Listeners, and Intents Next, we are going to discuss how views, layouts, event listeners, and intents are implemented while developing Android apps. You will learn how views help to create interactive user interface components such as buttons, text fields, and etc. You will learn about layouts and how they are used in developing the visual structure of a user interface. You will also learn about event listeners and how they enable an app to respond to user interaction. Also, you will learn about intents and how they are the glue between activities. Application Features in this session on application features, you are going to develop an actual Android app using the knowledge you gained in the preceding sessions. You will take development from the requirements gathering stage right through the fully functioning app. Application Enhancements In the last session, we will enhance a number of the features in the app we just built by using Volley, SQLite DB and Git, and more. So that concludes our introduction to the Android M Ultimate App Development Course. Let's get started.